As we come closer to the end of Unit 4 under Financial Management, we now turn our attention to something known as Capital Asset Pricing Model. That's what we're going to cover in this uh, particular section. And that's an extension of uh, what we have learned so far uh, in terms of what risk premium is required and beta. This is a theory which basically outlines what return to expect from any security you know from any security that's the question we are trying to answer in this case right so we quickly revisit our uh, discussion around beta now first let's understand that risk premium what do we mean by risk premium right or market risk premium now if you are investing in the risk free asset you will make a return rf right which is by taking any risk now the return expected by an investor over and above the risk free rate right this is what is the excess return that you're expecting for taking higher volatility or higher risk and why are you taking this higher risk is because you are investing in the market portfolio right so you're investing in this market portfolio which is a secure set of securities in the equity market and because you're investing in this which is let's say something like the BSE 30 uh, you would expect a slightly better return over and above the risk-free rate remember risk-free rate has Sigma close to zero whereas we saw that for BSE 30 the annualized Sigma was equal to about 17 percent now you're taking this risk so obviously you would want to kind of uh, kind of uh, get a slightly higher return this is the excess return that you're expecting out of any particular out of investment in the market now recall also what we said about beta beta of the stock any stock gives the magnitude of movement you know when the market moves when you compare it with the market right so if you're looking to find the risk premium for a stock how would you give that right remember stock moves beta times the market that's what we had seen so if your market is giving you this excess return beta times that excess return is what you're going to get on the stock right that is the excess return that you expect on the stock this principle is what is called as the capital asset pricing model this is one of the basic tenets of finance remember beta is assumed to be the risk the market risk it's assumed to be the market risk or undiversifiable risk that a stock adds to the portfolio right so it's a measure of risk that the stock adds to the portfolio and so for investing in this particular stock this is the risk premium demanded for investing in the stock in stock and this here is the risk premium demanded for investing in the market right now obviously the risk premium your demand for investing in the stock is going to be beta times what you're going to demand for investing in the market and that is what capital asset pricing model will say which means the expected return on the stock I'll take RF on this side becomes risk free rate plus beta into RM minus RF where RM is the market return that's what our calculation is and that is what CAPM tells us right now let's assume that we are plotting a line and we are plotting a line between what is the expected return on the stock and 
so far remember we were plotting the line on the x-axis we were using Sigma now let's say we put beta here right now beta 0 is where you will have the risk-free asset right if you draw a line now as beta keeps increasing as beta keeps increasing on this side beta increases on the right hand side your return expected from the portfolio will increase linearly right that's what we said return on the portfolio or the stock is going to be equal to risk free rate plus beta into rm minus rf so it will increase linearly beta is x return on the stock is y this rf is the intercept so obviously the slope of this line the slope of this line is what is rm minus rf or the equity risk premium or risk premium that you are expecting for investing in the market that's the slope of this line right that's how the line would look like so your expected return on the investment plotted against the beta this line is known as the security market line or the SML note that the CML was return versus Sigma the SML is return versus beta right that's the key difference that we have seen so far now on this the intercept and you can you can write the equation again R is equals to RF plus beta into RM minus RF right beta is on the x-axis so this is X this is Y is equals to C plus MX right what is M M is RM minus RF so the slope of this line is RM minus RF this is the return that you're looking at right now note a few things here that we need to understand the market portfolio is given by this point that's the return on the market RM this is the difference RM minus RF and if you think about it this is where beta has to be 1 remember market beta is going to be equal to 1 because the market will move 1 times itself right treasury bills or risk-free securities will have a beta of 0 because they are kind of completely riskless right and you could have portfolios or securities where beta could be anywhere ranging between 0 to anything on the upside right there has to be a linear function which is what we have derived as the line y is equals to mx plus c that's the line available here and you obviously have a certain set of securities that are available as per this model on this line or above or below this line now we are supposed to test whether portfolios can lie above or securities can lie above or below this line 